Hey, what's up? Uh, let me try that again. Dallas Cowboys 2024 NFL schedule has been released. That's not a shocker. It's exciting. What we're going to do today here, bandwagon boy number one, bandwagon boy number two, is we're going to break down that Cowboy strength of schedule kind of into three three parts, but we'll also bring some other interesting stats. First of all, big shout out to Warren Sharp of sharpfootballanalysis.com. Or, uh, making our jobs easy for Making us. our jobs easy. We're copy and pasting and then just reciting it. So uh, here we go. How does so, the Dallas Cowboys strength of schedule stack up? How does it stack up? Okay, so when we look at the strength of schedule, the Dallas Cowboys have the 11th hardest schedule. 11th hardest, uh, whatever that would be, 19th easiest or something like 21st easiest. <laughs> uh, you had that had the third easiest actual strength of schedule in 2023. So we've kind of moved it back to the 11th hardest. Yeah. Still not the hardest. Who is ranked at the hardest? Should we look at yeah, we can look sharp up, analysis? Look up at sharp analysis. The Cowboys had the third easy, easiest, like you said, last year. That was the actual strength, not what they gave them. That's a 19 position swing, I believe if my math's correctly, so. And probably purposeful, try to even it out. Um, Good, but you never know how these things are going to actually end up by the end of the season, right? Right now, the uh, based off of sharp football analysis, the Pittsburgh Steelers have the hardest schedule in the NFL, followed by New England Patriots, then the Cleveland Browns, uh, Ravens, and then Vikings. And who is the easiest? Easiest is Atlanta Falcons. And then Chargers, Bears, Jets, Saints. Okay. Yep. So, we play the Saints, so I don't like hearing that. And we play the uh, we play the Browns, and we play and the we, Steelers, and we play the Ravens, and the Ravens, and Stevens, Stevens, the Stevens, and the even Stevens. I so. hate the Stevens. Yeah, I hate the Stevens too. So let's move on to our next fact here. Uh, so within the division, the Dallas Cowboys have the first hardest overall um, schedule, number one, at least in one category. But the Eagles have a thirteen spot advantage on the Cowboys. So. Um, I don't know how to say this without twisting tongues here. Do it. But the Eagles are ranked 13 spots higher, easier on their schedule than the Cowboys. Okay. Uh, you can see right here at New York is, what is that, 20th? Yeah. 20th. And then uh, where's Washington at like 16th? Right there. 15th? 13th. 13th. So, so they're right in the middle of the pack. This is based off of what previous years and then how certain teams have stacked up. Like, are they taking into consideration the moves that teams have been making on the off seasons? This is actually based off of the projected win totals from Vegas odds makers. Okay. So they've already taken all of their data and crunch numbers, meaning that they've already taken who people are playing and, and all of those factors into each individual game. And then this guy, um, Warren Sharp, I'm not going to put words in his mouth, but essentially what he did is he took, okay, I'm going to take this data that you have and then put it up against how that's going to go for all the teams here. So it's basically based on the win totals. It right. sounds, sounds simple, but there's a lot that goes into creating those win totals. I mean, I, I actually don't mind us having a harder schedule. I want them to go, I want them to earn that that spot in the playoffs. I want that. I want the team to be battle rung or yeah. battle worn. Battle I don't want to have a season like we did last year and then you see, oh, we had the third easy, easiest schedule. Oh, third easiest <laughs> schedule, and you can't beat a team over five hundred. That, that's out of it. If we're gonna, if we're gonna face hard teams and we're gonna win it, let's. I mean, there are the media is gonna throw excuses onto it when we do beat a, a very uh, prominent team, anyways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's gonna there's gonna be some sort of narrative structure that comes out. So re, it's a win. It's it's not a win win situation for the Cowboys, anyways. But for as a fan, I want them to. I want them to to earn earn those spots yeah and they do too they, we want dogs out there on the field so yeah um, so and 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 like you said it's the first hardest schedule in the nfc beast that's right that is correct well, so we got next dallas cowboys 15th easiest first five games so this is in the first five weeks the cowboys are ranked 15th uh for the easiest first five games so that puts us nearly in the middle of the NFL pack. Yeah, it's like right almost smack dab in the middle. If you go up and just pull up our off-screen schedule here, um, basically what we're looking at for those first five games, for anyone who's just uh, wondering who what, what those are, because I don't memorize the schedule yet, but it's the Browns week one, the Saints week two, Ravens week three, Giants week four, and Steelers week five. And, and when you do look at it, it does look pretty damn easy. Yeah, I mean the Browns. The Browns are going to be a tough team, I think. Um, yeah. But are they actually? I mean, we keep saying the Browns are going to be a tough team. 
Maybe they aren't going to be tough. I think when we did, because we did uh, broke down, we broke down the first six games, so that would have included Detroit. But yep. let's just look at. Uh, you said four and two. I that's said right. three and three. Ant said three and three, and we were be- saying that was our low. So that's actually, not including the the Lions game, which we all had as a win. So so it, these th- first five weeks is actually, or sorry, a loss. Sorry. Yeah. So mine's mine. Mine would be three and two because I have I pegged Browns and Ravens beating us. Oh, or did, okay. Where did I go? Brown? Or did I go Ravens and Steelers? I can't remember now. Right, but you did. You thought that we'd beat the Lions. I thought so we'd beat the Lions. For me, I was saying it's going to be. We're going to have prob. I, I could see us losing to the Ravens and the Lions. Yep. And then we're going to have a problem with the Browns, the Saints, the Giants, or the Steelers. Right. Just like we should have won. We should win that, but not. So if we just take that off, I still see. I still see a three and two weeks one through five. And I don't like hearing that that's, you know, kind of the, the average right. schedule strength right. of the NFL. Um, but anyways, now we can move on to these next. The top first 10 games, actually. So over the, uh, by week 10, so that's weeks one through 10, including that bye week, the Cowboys have the fourth hardest schedule. So a big shift when you think about it, because it's like going from medial, medium difficulty to hard difficulty. Yep. And when we look at the teams that they play from uh, week six to 10, um, the Lions, then they get the bye. San Francisco 49ers, week eight. Week nine, Falcons. Week 10, the Eagles. The Falcons seem to be the easiest ones in that right bunch, now, yeah. of course. But we'll see what happens by week nine. Because well, the and, Falcons, and they have... Uh, they have Kirk Cousins. Yeah. Uh, they have uh, Pitts. They have Bijan. So it could be... It could be a completely different team when you have uh, a competent coach and a competent like uh, quarterback throwing, throwing some ducats over there. So... I mean the they they uh, you know Drake London they they do have formidable um, players. I I do think you're you're right. It is probably the easiest game. San Francisco. We're going to be at it. It's going to be a dog yep. fight, um, or we hope it's going to be a dog fight. Uh, then mm-hmm. you got the Eagles and they got the Texans, which everyone thinks that oh, San Francisco. Lions. Lions. Sorry, Lions, Frisco, Falcons, Eagles, Eagles. Yeah, and then uh, that's that's the tenth. That, that, that's that brings us to week ten. I'd like to say it's the mid-season mark, but it's really past the mid-season mark. But you had three and three, yeah, which makes sense because that in, that this is including um, this is including the this is including yeah we're getting a little off of our our, our, of our stats are off here than what than what it was before. But basically, I think um, I had I had a um, well, even if- I had a win against the Falcons and Eagles, and then I think we're gonna lose against. Or there's the potential of a, a higher potential loss against Lions and Frisco at this point. That's how my head is going. That's where so you're thinking. I don't love. I don't love it. But at least we get that bye week, especially when you're going into that gauntlet of Frisco Falcons and Eagles. And like we were just saying, Falcons could be surprisingly difficult if yeah. a, a bunch of their players take a, a step forward with Kirk and Kirk Cousins is at the helm. We all love him. So we end the season though. With the seventh easiest, so this is the easiest that the Cowboys will be at this point um, from weeks 11 to 18. This is going to be the easiest part of the season. So it's like this roller coaster season where you start off in the middle, things get very difficult, and then uh, really easy or maybe difficult high, easy low. I'm not sure how we're do you do you at this are you in the so I'm we're both in the I think we're both in the camp that you want them to to have. To, to earn the spot uh, in the playoff and, and get playoffs. them ready playoffs coming in with uh, a little bit of an easier schedule going into the postseason. I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't hate it because I think if we have our, if our tougher games at the start of the season, get them formed and we just start to shellac these opponents and we kind of win out going into the playoffs, build that yeah. momentum, build that uh, mindset for the team, get them in that rhythm and then have them kind of not cakewalk it into the the playoffs but kind of take a different stance than what we've seen these previous years i mean we've seen the last three years 12 and 5 actually my prediction for this season was 12 and 5 based on us bracketing it off that way um i went four and two three and three and then five and oh for that my 12 and five record you and anth both have 11 and six and there's a lot of people that are 
that are pegging the Cowboys to have an 11-6 season. So yeah. that 11-6, 12-5, I mean – at the end of the day, we just want to see the boys get through the, that first that first round of the playoffs. Playoffs. Um, and but, and l- the last half of that season, too, just while you were bringing it up, the scary games, I think, are going to be the Houston Texans, Cincinnati Bengals, and uh, Eagles, of course, and then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'll throw them in the mix. So I still think, like, for those last, whatever it is, seven games, there is, uh, or eight games, there is four you know, competitive teams yeah, uh, and, and watch New York come out and stomp us like 40, nothing or yeah. something like that. But well, we hope that's not going to happen, but no, 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 no. Listen, you want these hot takes all season long. Make sure you like, and subscribe like to and your subscribe. boys here at the Cowboys can fan the number one Cowboys uh, show in North America. And I say North America because, you know, we're, we're, we're getting, we're stretching our legs. We're stretching our legs over the border. For sure, we're the number one show in Canada. That's for that's true. <laughs> that's that for true. damn sure. <laughs> All right, as always, crack them if you got them. Crack them if you got them, son. <laughs> Ooh, that's a, this is this is like a dry show. Bless. <laughs> <laughs>